be making bases. What's going on YouTube, Beat Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor and go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up if you like the content. Today's video, we're gonna be actually arranging a trap beat that we made using stock plugins, okay? Arranging this beat into a song format. So check this out, if you're new, basically the video previous to this, we made the beat and now we're gonna arrange it, okay? So this is what the beat sounds like. All right, so that's the beat, all right? Stock plugins, meaning we used all, <laughs> you know, all stock sounds, everything like that. Um, the video after this, we're going to be mixing this beat using stocks like plugins and everything. So, but let's go ahead and get this formatted. Okay. So pretty much as you heard it, this is pretty much how it's going to sound like for the hook. So this is pretty much a go, like a given as far as that. All I got to do is take this and move it on over to so such. Um, let me just do something figure out everything first of, first first things first actually before you get started like um you know arranging the beat you got to make sure everything is labeled properly everything is named properly everything like that so let's just do that so that should be a snare this is for sure a kick got our claps stuff like that i'm gonna move the drums up top just to make it easier to kind of see those and I got the hat right here. I'm just gonna put bail pad right here. Um, I'll say bail two. I'll say bail one right there. And uh, we'll say sub right here. And I'll just say lead. Okay, cool. So we got that. And just to basically take everything right here, all these names and put them right over here, I'm just gonna push shift option in. Okay, cool. So now we're ready to go ahead and arrange this beat. So at least so I can see what's going on. Like I was saying though, um, everything that you heard here, that's gonna be for the hook. So basically what we're gonna be doing is doing a quick little intro and then get right into it. So what I'll do is we just drug drug this over here. This is obviously going to be the hook, and I'm actually going to drag this over two more times. So basically, what we got going here is we got a hook here, and this is our, going to be our verse, and then this is our intro. Once we get our intro together, and then once we already got our hook, we'll, we'll basically format the verse, and then we can just copy and paste the hook and the verse over and over and over again, and add some variations. So that's basically what we're going to be doing. Let's jump into it here. Um, usually, you know, you're not going to have any like drums during your intro. So what we'll do is we'll just cut that out and build this up some as we go. So like this lead sound is for sure a hook sound. So we'll take that off. And what I'm going to do is actually we'll let that come in like halfway before the actual hook comes in as well as that sub sound. The sub sound will come in. Well, actually the sub sound might come in like at the beginning too. Let's just see how it sounds. Yeah, bad. we'll just do it like that. Um, and then everything's gonna jump in. So let's check it out. So that's the hook. The lead again for the verses is not going to be there. Um, basically, what I'm doing here is muting out 
the tracks within the workspace window by pushing Control M. And the reason why I do that is just so I can still have it there just in case I want to bring it back and I can unmute it by pushing Control M again. This makes it, you know, gives me more flexibility over the thing, over the track. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut out the, uh, yeah, I'm going to cut out all the drums on the first part of the verse. And we'll also cut out this pad. So let's listen to how this comes in. We'll play it from the middle of the hook and then we'll come in and see if this makes sense. kind of seems like a super short verse like to be honest with you because I'm like sitting here thinking like man if I was a rapper I probably would want to go a little longer you know what I'm saying like definitely would want to go a little longer so you know and if I was just to double this too I'll put us right about here. Yeah, we're gonna extend this. So basically, I'm gonna come over here, take this, bring this over. We're gonna make this hook like a little two part hook, like a little longer than this. And we're gonna extend this bad boy out like this. You know, because if you were just to go off of, um, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you just go off of bars, this is like a hella long verse. But what you gotta do sometimes is just actually listen to it and see if it actually makes sense. Because sometimes like when you set your um, BPM, it might just, or however you play the beat, it just might need to be extended, you know what I mean? So anyway, let's keep on going here. Um, this is gonna be a verse, let's listen to it again. And I kind of don't like the fact that it's starting off just like the uh, intro. So let me just put this clap in here. And what I'm doing here is I'm building this verse up. You know what I mean? Like you don't want it to just be one constant vibe all the way through. As you can see, like it builds. You know, you had to clap here, bell, bell, and then we start bringing in more instruments. And it just makes it sound better. So we're bringing this pad last, right before the hook comes in. And then we can get, to, get it going. And what I'll do is just take this, um, take the drums out to one bar before or one little notch before the hook comes back in just to make it sound right so we'll just play it from here see how it sounds Okay, and basically, let me see. I'm just thinking about this for a second. Like, to make this hook sound a little bit better, like, you want this hook to build too. So, what I'll do is I'll layer this and we'll just bring this down here and just see what we can come up with as far as like another sound.
and I actually kind of like that going throughout the whole hook. So maybe we can layer it one more time and see if we can find a different instrument on here. Bring that back over. All right, cool. All right, so back. So that's that's what we're gonna be doing for the hook, and then we also have our verse right here. So we got a good skeleton going. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and just double it by dragging it over up by hold down option and just do a time check here all right perfect so you know two verses it's good enough drag this on over what the heck? drag this on over like so songs nowadays are super short but i think this is gonna still work And then we can just take this like this little part right here, and use that as the outro. But of course, change up some stuff. So maybe like have this move this right right here, like so. And pretty much this is gonna be the the song. I mean, there's more stuff that we're gonna want to do to this to add a little variation, a little vibe. But let's just kind of listen to at least the first hook and a little bit of the first verse, see if it flows right. So I feel like we got a pretty dope uh, vibe here. I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward this all the way to the um, last hook because it's pretty much the second verse is the same. So let's go ahead and go right here. Yeah, so it's it's pretty much it's pretty much a, a, a good solid skeleton. Like again, keep in mind y'all, this is a beat made completely using stock sounds. Even stock drum sounds is not gonna sound as banging as it would sound like if I use third party kits. But hopefully like in the mixing video, I'm gonna show you show y'all like what we could do to make these sounds sound a little bit more robust, to sound a little bit doper, um, just using some mixing tips and stuff like that. So stay in tune for the next video. I appreciate y'all watching. Again, if you are new, please make sure you subscribe 
and also y'all make sure you give me a thumbs up on the video and leave your comments in the comment section below till the next one we're out